My name is Loie Lane, and I'm so excited to tell you guys about my new podcast, Internet Urban Legends, with my BFF, Snitchery. We deep dive into the darkest corners of the internet to uncover whether some of the most notorious web myths are hoax or whether they're con. Internet Urban Legends, available exclusively on Spotify. Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Hi, hello. My name is Loie, and it's been a while since we talked about the supposed snow cult killer TikTok account, Lord Ver. Not that he is the snow cult killer, he is just being stalked by one very casual stuff, as you know. There hasn't been much to talk about with this series uh, since my last update. Also, I'm devastated that Gigi is moving. I thought she blended in so well. <laughs> with the stuffed animals right there. I thought it was really cute. Hi, love you, ancient stinky cat. Anyway, since my last video, there has not been much to talk about or discuss uh, with this TikTok account, ARG series. I don't really even know what it is. However, we've had some pretty massive updates that I think warranted its own official update video. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. But before we get started, I wanna say a huge thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Scentbird. If you guys came to my house right now, number one, you'd be horrified by the sheer number of boxes strewn throughout my home as I am unpacking all of my earthly possessions. Number two, you would be horrified by how many of those boxes are perfect. Perfume. I'm obsessed with perfume. I love perfume. I love trying out new perfumes And that's why Scentbird is honestly my best friend because through their nifty subscription service You can try over 600 different brands fragrances perfumes colognes everything There's also cosmetic and skincare categories So it's honestly just a beauty lovers best friend all around through Scentbird You can choose a new designer fragrance every single month for only $15 whether you are looking for something more masculine or feminine and then one of these little bad boys is a 30-day supply in here is anywhere between 120 to 140 sprays of perfume that's kind of crazy because honestly so for me I douse myself in perfumes like three to four sprays a day is pretty normal for me so in here if you are someone who really likes to smell your perfume like me you know hit all of like the most essential points put it in your hair put it on your clothes everything you still have a ton of perfume to play with here and you don't have to be like stingy with how you spray it brands include names such as kenneth cole tom ford we can just take a look at what i've gotten from scentbird recently which is anna sui we also have oscar de la renta we have christian siriano this perfume silhouette is amazing um, the notes are jasmine petals, black sesame seeds, amber wood, Madagascar, vanilla absolute, and cashmere musks. It's really pretty. Derek Lamb Crosby and also Confession of a Rebel. So, I mean, they have everything from kind of like upcoming companies and brands and stuff to household names you've known about forever. You can upgrade your subscription to receive two or three products a month, including products from skincare or cosmetic brands and even wellness like CBD, nutrition supplements, etc. Of course, you can also trust that these are coming from the real brands themselves. So you don't have to worry about getting a fake. It's all 100% authentic. And like I said, I have a few different perfumes that I've tried out from them over the last couple of months, but I think my favorite one is this Christian Siriano Intimate Silhouette that I was rambling off about earlier. There's something a little bit like musky and masculine about it, but it's still really like soft and feminine. Oh, it just smells so good. Anna Sui's Fantasia has also been another favorite find for me through Scentbird. It has notes such as pink pepper, raspberry praline, Himalayan cedarwood. You can try out all of these scents and so, so many more from 600 different brands on the Scentbird website when you use my code LOWYLANE30 and click that link in the description box down below to get 30% off of your first month of Scentbird. Once again, you can click the link down below in my description box and use code LOWYLANE30 to get 30 percent off of your very first month of Scentbird. Thank you to Scentbird once again for sponsoring today's video. Thanks for helping me smell amazing while I finally talk about the cult on TikTok. I know I've already been rambling for a while, but can I just quickly say that I just had the weirdest experience while I was filming my intro? I got a call from a number that I didn't recognize and it wasn't saved in my phone, but it said maybe Jake. And so my manager's name is Jake. I knew that he was out at an event tonight and I was like, well, um, if something's wrong, I don't want to not answer. So it's ringing, it's ringing, and I pick up and I say hello, and it's a voice, a man's voice I don't recognize, and he's like, do you know who this is? And I was like, no. And he said, oh, well, that's a shame. 
and I was just like, <laughs> and I hung up because I didn't know who the heck it was. It was really weird. And I checked my text and it was this guy I met like a while ago uh, on like a dating app or something. And he just randomly called me up and then sent me like a nasty text after about like how I don't respond to his texts and stuff and men are terrifying. So happy pride month for whatever reason, I'm a bisexual and I'm attracted to both. When women are clearly it's a superior choice cause they don't do things like that. I just think that's so weird. If someone's not texting you back, why would you call them? Why would you call them at like 10 o'clock at night? Creepy. Anyway, this isn't about me being gay and my dating life. <laughs> Uh, today we are talking about the Lord Ver TikTok account, the cult on TikTok. They're back and they are mm, better than ever feels a little insensitive. They are loud, very loud and um, just doing a lot currently. Oh, I talked about perfume and being gay and she said, those are my things in here. You may or may not remember specifically what the Lord Ver account was about, but I did make a video that got like half a million views on this TikTok series, story, whatever you could really call it, I guess, about this man and his girlfriend who lived in a house with their dog and seemingly that was it, being stalked by a group who was putting like identifying information in their yard, such as uh, saying one male, one female, one M, one F, um, spray painted in like red paint outside their home. Also leaving like kind of threatening looking weird snow sculptures. It was very weird and hard to condense. So I highly recommend checking out my first video and even the secondary follow-up that I did on this story if you wanna get a little bit caught up to speed. But everyone was kind of joking around in the comments section of all of these videos um, leading up to where we are now saying, well, what is this cult gonna do when the snow melts? Like this guy lives in a very, very cold area with inches upon inches of snow that ended up being like pretty much the only way that this group was communicating with them. Making sculptures out of snow, writing things in the snow with red paint, and honestly when the snow did melt we didn't hear much else. However, I am planning out uh, a video on the time to wait TikTok account about a woman who lives in like a haunted house um, and finds a suitcase and all of this stuff. I have been keeping up with that for over a year at this point. So I was going back through all my old favorite TikTok accounts, seeing how everyone was doing, and when I checked in on Lord Ver, I noticed that his bio had changed and it now said an update on my situation. The situation, of course, I was assuming being the cult. Stalking, harassing, leaving things in his yard, etc. There are some TikToks, but it pretty much ties into everything that this video said. So we're just gonna go through the main storyline of this six and a half minute update he posted on YouTube. Now, the video opens with him talking about how he made a TikTok, uh, kind of poking fun at the fact that his girlfriend was hiding in like a cat cabinet or something because she thought she heard somebody in their house or in their yard, just somebody very, very, very close. And she was hiding until he got home. Turns out, of course, someone was there. But after this, things get really bizarre because the poster of this account, whose name I don't think we ever get, I've just been calling him Lord Ver. What a very regal title to give an anonymous poster. He decides to finally check out this sort of trail that was leading back behind his house in the winter. So there was this part in this whole saga where he talks about how his well had been tampered with, the water was coming out discolored, it didn't look quite right, and he noticed footsteps leading behind his house in the snow, like fresh footprints that he did not recognize. So not that they're there anymore or that there is an obvious trail, but now that the snow has melted, he decided to follow them back behind the house with kind of his girlfriend thinking that something was in the house, things are sort of getting a little bit weird again. And when he walks back, he finds something he could never have predicted, I'm sure.
identical pretty much to the snow sculptures in his front yard these weird circular portal things that were being built in his front yard there is now this stick sculpture that is super similar in the backyard of his house now it's made out of sticks that are partially like thrown into the ground sort of woven together to create this structure and in the center is a really mossy rock that actually looks like it's been there for a really long time like they had to have built around that specifically knowing that they wanted it to be the center of this little thing. Now I'm going to refer to this as a portal because a lot of people in the comment sections were calling these portals saying that things got really bad for Lord Ver when he walked through it or put his hand through it originally. This one is so large he physically can and does walk through. What exactly it's a portal to I'm not sure. A portal to being cursed or hexed or something? I mean this is very clearly not like paranormal. Like somebody is actively doing this. Anyway, as you can see, this was all here in the in the fall. Like not all of it. The structure was here. These sticks weren't. Uh, this wasn't. I don't know. And this definitely wasn't. Like a, a bunch of burnt logs. It does kind of look like someone was having a fire back here. This is like within, you know, you could throw a baseball and hit my house from here. Now behind this area, as he continues to explore after he kind of walks through the opening of this portal thing, behind it is a very small wooden structure made out of planks and like just, just stuff that I think that somebody partially brought into the woods. It was partially man-made, you know, things like smooth finished planks, but also partially just like rubble and things that I think were found around the woods. Around this structure were pieces of charred, burned wood, as well as almost what looked like a sleeping bag, as if someone had been living there. And he shows the proximity of it between his house and like this part of the woods where the structure is found. And I mean, you could pick up a stone and throw it at his house and hit it really easily. Like that's pretty much how he describes it. It is so close. It is in his backyard. So he's obviously freaking out while documenting this. Um, and you know, the video is titled, I thought this was over. Like I thought this had ended. And I think that because of this update, because of not only someone building another one of these structures in the backyard, as well as seemingly living back there, we can safely deduce that it is in fact not over. In fact, it may have just begun. The snow killer cult is simply not attributed only to the snow. They are continuing their practice seemingly quite quietly, aside from a couple of bumps around the house scaring our poster's girlfriend. This would not be a scary side of TikTok update without some TikToks, of course, but the TikToks really just follow what this video is saying. We, of course, have this one um, that the person posted saying, found this in the woods behind our house today, and then showcasing the structure. Really thought they had left us alone since the snow melted, and it is, of course, the portal. Or, here's the thing, to me, these look like frogs. And there is a little bit of kind of frog tie-in in a later video. Like you can see sort of at the top here, there are these green like patches of brush that almost look like two little frog eyes. And then it looks like a big frog mouth and a tongue. And I, I can't really explain it. It's just always what I thought even back when um, the snow videos are being posted. Anyway, our poster says, really thought they had left us alone since the snow melted. What is this supposed to be? In another TikTok, he shows in a fun way, just how close the structure is to his very own home. Nothing fun about it, of course, finding something that startling in your own backyard. But then there's this video. And I really cannot explain to you why he chose to post this, but he posts just a video of frogs making noises outside his home. He says in the caption here, these frogs are kind of driving me crazy nonstop for nights, lol, hashtag frog, hashtag frog with a ph. I don't know, maybe it really is just a random TikTok about some frogs, but 
these little portal things they look like frogs to me I don't know anyway in our final updated TikTok, we have um, the poster kind of walking back from the uh, what should I even call it? The sculpture, the frog, the portal, uh, walking from this back, of course, to the shelter behind it. So we get a closer look at this structure of what it's made out of. Of course, we have like a tiny little ladder here. And of course, the what, what looks like a sleeping bag underneath. It is very interesting to say the absolute least. Now, someone, we're not really sure who, has very clearly been camping out in the backyard, keeping an eye on just what this family has been up to. But what is it that these people need to keep such a close eye on them for? They threaten them all through the winter with these bizarre sculptures marking their house with just who lived there. And yet, aside from just like scaring them, these people haven't really done anything. I don't know, it seems like this big build up to whatever this cult, whatever this group is going to do, but they haven't done anything aside from continue to creep around the property, trespass very clearly, make these structures out of new material and just linger and loiter. What is the point? What are we, what are we getting to here? Snow cult, the tree cult. I'm just going to call them the TikTok cult, I guess. I didn't really feel like this was like long enough to do a huge 20 minute video, but I certainly wanted it to have its own sort of moment in the spotlight because this account has been really fascinating for me. The reason that I think it was so interesting is because it's one of the very few cases where I wasn't able to sniff out right away if it was an ARG or not. The person running this account is very convincing and it seemed really rooted in reality until we started getting a uh, much more direct communication that it is in fact an ARG. So I'm excited to see where this goes, what's going to happen next with the TikTok cult themselves. What are they going to do? How are they going to strike? If you guys have any thoughts, if you've watched this series from the first video until now, let me know your thoughts, your theories, all of that down below. And for now, I just want to say thank you so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you once again to Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. I feel like it was a little bit awkward in this video. Hopefully nobody noticed but me. I think I got really flustered when I got that phone call. Uh, and I've also just been feeling kind of out of sorts still from unpacking and moving. Um, but hopefully it was all literally in my head and you guys didn't notice at all. Once again, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Let me know how your day is going down below. I love talking to you and I have missed you as always. And yeah, until the next one, I will see you in my next video. Bye!